Welcome to Cooking with Hilda, or should I say, Travel with Hilda in Paros, Greece. the majority of this beautiful island. We visit every single beach and we're going to share with you our recommendations when you travel with your family and kids to this beautiful island. Let me tell you, Paros has beautiful breathtaking landscaping and beaches. But what I truly enjoy the most here is how loving and caring and warm are everybody here. And this the people who live in Paros are so nice and kind. The time we recommend you guys to stay in this island is at least four days. So you have plenty of time to, to travel, to discover all this island, to know every single town and beaches. This Airbnb has nice and big spaces for your kids, has a pool. But my favorite thing, of course, is the view. You can see the sunset and the sunrise, and it's so nice. This is the entrance of the house in Paros, Greece. This three-story villa has a fully equipped kitchen, a comfortable living room, and large spaces and terraces. There's also a grill beside the pool. Rooms are nice and spacious, and it has four bathrooms. Also has um, time to adjust the camera lenses. The view here, it's beautiful. You can see Naxos. That island over there is Naxos. And you can see the pool. And me are relaxing there. 
there's a church at the top of the hill. We're gonna hike all over there tomorrow. Oh, there's a table oh, space here to relax. Has its own balcony. And view to the pool. Hey Mimi! <laughs> Another thing that we like to stay here in Pisa Libani is that it's a little bit quiet and calm during the night, but you still have a lot of restaurants nearby, like Cactus. Cactus is the front beach restaurant, so you can enjoy the beach and the restaurant at the same time. So that's a bit, that's a plus. Also, Pisa Livani has a port and in that port you can also have very nice restaurants and little shops to buy things and jewelry. Also, in Pisa Livani port you can book a nice yacht tour. This is the restaurant Uzeri Alaris. And please forgive me if I am not pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> Food is delicious. And this is the same restaurant at night. Always enjoy to watch the moon and stars. You have to go to left kiss. Yassi Cafe has delicious food as well. And a nice coffee. Of course, Mia doesn't think it's nice. <laughs> Yes. Ju 
in Paros is very nice too, so if you have an opportunity, go inside and check all the jewelry. Seriously, Norman? Yeah, it's meant for that. Agia Triada is a church that is very popular in Leptis. So if you have a chance, go inside and check it out. <laughs> and that's what you don't do when you are in Leptis. Also, in Lefkes Park, you will see monuments like the Monument to the Heroes of War. They are nice to go and check it out. Parikia is other place we recommend you to go check. It's also called Paros Town and it is nice and has nicer restaurants and beaches. There are also many churches around. And you will also want to go check the famous Panakia Ekatonda Piliani. It's a church that is located in Ciclade. And this is a very popular church because it's one of the best preserved churches in Greece. Tabiliani means the church with a hundred doors. Now, according to tradition, the church has only 99. So there's a secret door that nobody knows where it is. So go we'll try to find it. <laughs> Now Parikia has a variety of stores and restaurants, so go walk and explore around and eat good food.
also have to go visit Paros Poros. It is nice and it can be a little bit crowded, but nice and worth the visit. Other place that I really enjoy was Nausa. Nausa has very nice restaurants for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Like this one. <laughs> This baker is ah, a dream come true. <laughs> Everything is so delicious. I wanted to have more space in my tummy so I can try everything. <laughs> Remember this. This is one of a kind of bakery. I love pastries, so trust me, I know. <laughs> was actually my favorite place to explore in Paros. Barbarossa is my favorite restaurant in Paros. It is located in the old port and this is how it looks in the day. You have to come back in the night. It's highly recommended to make a reservation in advance because it's very popular and hard to find a table. However, I have to confess, we didn't make a reservation and they kindly gave us a table. <laughs> Another thing we want to recommend you, of course, when you come to Greece, is buy olive oil and maybe some olive oil skincare <laughs> to try it. In the restaurants, order octopus. It's classic and delicious. Add a little bit of lemon drops. Mm, so good. Now, other thing you of course can do in every beach or island here in Greece is diving. My girls did it for the first time and the instructor who gave them the certificate was so nice and patient with them. My son already has his certificate uh, like me. We are working towards our license. We have to do a couple more um, things to get our license. but. Uh, yeah, so the girls were, it was the first time and instructors were amazing, like, it's very nice. We are in battles today and the kids, my kids are going to go diving. I decided not to join them today because I'm not feeling very good and you have to have certain, um, not feeling bad to do it. <laughs> so I'm staying in the boat, but they are 
going and we are going to join them on camera of course <laughs> let's go they are studying <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So they are ready. They're going to go dive. What do you think, guys? Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's go. I can't see where they are. They are very deep. <laughs> can't see. But they, they went that way. We also want to recommend you guys to rent a car. It's very important because if you want to go explore, that we really like that and we recommend you guys to do, go explore and don't be afraid of driving our way around. You're not going to get lost. And if you do, people is very nice and they're going to help you. We didn't get lost. And as always, I give you the sunrise. Your end, perfect in my So thank you guys for being one more time here with me in traveling with Hilda. <laughs> and if you like this video about Paros, well, we really recommend you coming to Paros because it's totally worth it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. See you guys next time.